Hello, this is Mike Leiber from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the eighth video in a series of 12 on building the human heart in Blender. And if you're just starting up, just go ahead and hit the heart ready to connect uh, folder, and when you do it, will come the Blender file that looks like this. So we're ready to connect these arteries and veins to the heart that we created last time. Now you might be looking at this heart and going, you know what, Mike? That does not look like the heart that I learned about in biology. You know the nice symmetrical heart that we're used to seeing? Doesn't look like it, right? Because we anatomically model it from human slices. It actually looks more like a human heart. You've got more work to do here, of course, moving vertices around and modeling more with respect to anatomical slices. But for the most part, we've got something we can work with, so let's continue. You know how to do it. Just, just spend the time to make it better. We want to basically connect these. Uh... So we have two parts. We have the heart part and the veins and arteries part. We're going to show you how to work with these uh, pieces individually. I'm going to hit an alt rotate and just select the bottom part and we're going to start lining everything up. So if I come along here, I can, there you go. I get my double B key and I got that little paint so I'll just paint those vertices on, you see. And I'm just selecting the heart part. There we go and now I can start moving, basically hit the escape key to get out of that. And I can start moving this around to size everything up where I want to go. See that? And when I get that close, then I'm going to zoom in on that and start putting those vertices where they're supposed to go. All right, looks like we're getting close. Let's zoom in here and see what kind of work needs to be done. There we go. I'm liking that. And this looks like a little bit of shrinking that needs to be done still, but we're getting there. Okay. Really close. Really close. Okay. Let's expand this a little bit. I'm going to hit the S key, make it a little bit larger, just so I can fit everything in. Cool, let's move this over. Good. Looks like I'm ready to start connecting. Let's uh, rotate around. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and start the connection process. And we're just going to start connecting edges. So let's all rotate. Okay. And let's start connecting. So make sure that you're in edge mode. And just go down and click on the edges. And I'm just going to right click on an edge and shift click on another edge and just hit the F key to connect. Right. And once again, same thing. Shift click. Shift click and connect with the F key. And just start connecting everything. Shift click, shift click. Now if you get the wrong thing, just hit the A key to get off and try again. F key. Right click, right click, F key. And we're just going to connect everything. And so you should be getting the idea here. It's a pretty simple process where I'm just selecting edges. I'm hitting the F key, a wonderful uh, technique in Blender, and I'm hitting a shift to select another one. And I'm just hitting the F key and connecting those, uh, those faces together. And I'm just going to go all the way around and connect my uh, veins to my heart, and I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, I'm almost done with the connection process, and basically all I've done is gone around the entire figure, just selecting edges and hitting the F key to connect the triangles. And once again, hit the F key here, connect these triangles. We're finishing up here with this final uh, a set of triangles, uh, and it's very simple. And it's a little bit tight here at the end. We're just going to connect these one by one. Shift key. And right click. Shift key. And that's our final, final triangle. Now, just real quick here, you saw that I divided the uh, faces in the last program. The reason I did that is so I could actually connect to the part of the heart here. So if we go all the way around, let's zoom out a little bit so we see what we're, what we're doing. You can see everything is connected here, all right? And basically, uh, that's my heart. Now, it looks kind of mechanical, not that attractive. But once I begin to smooth it out, 
it's going to look a lot, look a lot better. So there we go. And uh, let's move on to the next section.